And welcome to Weld.com. I'm back at Valencia College in Kissimmee, Florida with Jason. And Jason is going to showcase one of the pieces of equipment that they have here in their training facility. Jason, tell me a little bit about this unit and what you do with it. Uh, so we've got a uh, Lincoln Electric R350 and a Fanuc robotic arm. Uh, basically what we do is we have a standalone class that teaches previous welding students about the robotics course. Uh, welders, you know, as you know, they've got to have a good fundamental understanding of the basics of welding as far as travel speed, work angle, contact tip to work distance, all the things that make up a good weld. So what we do is we take those students in and then we show them how to program the robot. So it's easier to take somebody that knows, you know, something about welding and teach them the robotics portion than it is to take like a programmer and teach them welding. Exactly. Um, so we have a, uh, our in-house robot nerd, Josh LeBeau is our other instructor. So he's going to come in and kind of give you some of the more fine-tuned technical aspects of it. Okay, very good. All right, uh, Josh, you have the, lo the Weld.com logo programmed. Uh, we're going to weld that on a piece of flat plate. How did you go about creating that program? Um, I, what I did was, is this works off of waypoints. It works off of an X, Y, and Z coordinates, okay. um, like polar coordinates for uh, CNC. Um, so basically where in space and I select a point and then I go ahead once I select that point it remembers that point I can go back to that point I can change it to whatever I want um, you know if I need to touch it up or anything like that okay um, and then basically just come down uh, touch the plate with my correct contact tip to work distance and then I started tracing out weld.com okay so uh, I'll do a dry run real quick if you want to see that. Okay. All right, cool. Did you, you, you said you started at a waypoint. All of this would be lined up at the bottom. Do you use that as a reference point? Because some of these you start out at an angle. Obviously you have the circles and the C's and the D's and all that. Is there a, do you kind of maintain a reference point down here at the bottom for how far you, your travel is? Not really, no. I just kind of, I had folded up a piece of paper put weld.com oh, okay. on there okay. and I just traced it out. It was oh, the I'm... easiest way to go about it. Okay. So while this is welding, we're using a Lincoln R350. Is there a particular program that we're using for metal transfer? Yes, we're using Rapid Arc. Okay. Uh, what gas are you running? We're running a 9010. Okay. 035 yes, ER70 S6. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I want to see this work. Let's do a logo. Let's All weld right. it. Let's do it. Josh, that's pretty interesting. While this is uh, while this is welding, I'm seeing all the stuff that you had to program in there: the travel speeds, the stops, the delays. I'm, I imagine there's more to it than what I just got through witnessing here, as far as a robotic operation for the program. Yeah, there's more in the background, but you know, I don't know if you guys want to get into that today. Well, I really appreciate the demonstration today. No Thanks problem. for your time. We're going to be back here doing some more robotic stuff. Okay do some more complex parts and maybe get into some more intricacies of the programming part of it. Yes, sir. Very good. Sure appreciate your time. You, sir, appreciate you inviting us in. Oh, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. It's a good education. you got a great program. Look forward to coming back more. Thanks. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. New content coming out with these gentlemen. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. <clears throat> Do you want me to talk about the right hand rule and the triad and? Sure. Get him. I don't know what that is. Get him. <laughs>